Well, I'm Jamie Triscritti, and this is Josh Carter, and we're here just to talk about Sunday, just yeah. to kind of talk about what he spoke about in service on Sunday. Not just if you missed it, it's a good recap, but also just to kind of solidify it midweek. You know, we're, we're coming to that midweek point. Today's Wednesday. It is May 30th, right? Almost yeah. end of May. Crazy Start summer of the summer here. coming up. Yeah, wow. So we're going we're gonna to just kind of recap your sermon real quick. Can you give us a short, very short summary of this? Don't, don't preach a message again, Josh. <laughs> Take it easy. Just sure. short summary. Sure, we can do that. So uh, we are in the middle of a Getting There series, which is a family series that we're doing. And we really wanted to kind of convey the idea that, you know, none of us have this down. Um, we're not perfect husbands, um, you know, and, and we're not perfect dads. <laughs> Uh, but, but we're hoping that as we follow God's word, that we can be more and more like uh, who Christ is calling in us to be as husbands and fathers and just in life in general. And so this past week, we talked about modeling, um, really, and leading our family by modeling, leading our children by modeling. And I used 2 Timothy chapter 1. I was talking about uh, Timothy's grandparents. And what's so cool about that is Paul talks about how uh, the faith first dwelled in his grandmother, and then it dwelled in his mother. But it wasn't just this inward faith that they kept to themselves. It was something that they lived out. And so Paul gets to this therefore section in uh, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 8. And he says, therefore, you're supposed to live it out. You're supposed to live out your faith, model your faith in such a way that others find it attractive, find it easy to follow Christ because they're, they're following you. And I use that verse that comes uh, in Corinthians where Paul says, follow me as I, I follow Christ or be imitators of me as I imitate Christ. And so that's a lot of what we talked about this past week was how as parents, um, how as spouses, we're imitating Christ so that others can follow Christ easier. Absolutely. And if you didn't catch that sermon, make sure you look on our website and, and look it up. Or I, I don't know if it's on Facebook, um, but definitely you want to check it out. It was a good one. Uh, you kind of spoke a little bit in the sermon about modeling different habits, different practices, and one of them was modeling prayer. You talked about how we often start out doing a rope prayer, yeah. you know, just memorizing a prayer, like the, the prayer we pray before we eat or sure. something like that. Yeah, then it moves to list prayers, listing the needs that we have. And then the last one was uh, really prayer as worship. Do you think you could speak a little more about that one? Yeah, absolutely. Um, so... If you just flip back uh, one chapter in Timothy, you're in 1 Timothy chapter 6, and uh, this is a passage that just really stood out to me as I was thinking about how we model prayer, because it's talking about who God is. And so Paul's writing to Timothy again, and he says this, I charge you in the presence of God, who gives life to all things, uh, and of Christ Jesus, who in his testimony before Pontius Pilate made the good confession to keep the commandment unstained and free from reproach until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Now, listen to this. He says, which he will display at the proper time. He who is blessed and only sovereign, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone is, has immortality and who dwells in unapproachable light. And I just think about this idea, all right? You have God who's alone, immortal. God who dwells in unreproachable light. And yet he calls us to come to him and, and to share our requests with him, to share our lives with him, to, to pray and to worship him. And I just think about how insufficient our prayer is um, because we, we give these rote prayers, the now lay me down to sleep, or we have the list prayers where we pray for everybody and their mother's hurt toes. Not that we can't pray for those things. I don't, I don't think those are bad in and of themselves, but I think that as we mature in our faith, those become unattractive. And so a lot of people have just a prayer life that seems dull, unexciting, because they're not seeing God for who he is. And so really just challenging our people to pray with an attitude of worship, recognizing who God is, confessing our sin before God, and, and yeah, uh, lifting up the needs that we have, but in a spirit that isn't just, you know, hey, we're praying for this, we're praying for this, we're praying for this, but we're praying to God who is able to do far more, far greater, far above anything that we can ask or imagine. And when we come to God like that, I think that's a prayer that uh, our kids are going to want to imitate a little bit more. Absolutely. That's powerful stuff. Now, it's midweek. We got big things coming up, don't yeah, we? Yeah, absolutely. A lot coming up. Can you do some for me? I, I know that you're still in the middle of your sermon prep, still kind of getting things together. It's, it's a big week. 
but can you give us just a little sneak peek into what you're going to tell us on Sunday? Sure. So we're, we're still in our family series, um, but we are this Sunday going to have kind of a, a family discussion. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're going to talk about unity in the family. I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to sharing my heart on this one uh, because it applies to our families. We need to be unified. You know, I need to be unified with my wife. Uh, the Bible tells us that we're one. Um, you know, it doesn't always feel that way. We, we, we butt heads too. But uh, we need to be unified as a church family. So we're going to talk a little bit about that. And uh, then we're going to be getting ready for VBS this next week. Uh, we're doing Amped uh, VBS this, this next week. It's going to be exciting. We're going to have over 100 kids here. And uh, we're just really excited about what God's going to do. So we're going to spend some time in prayer uh, for our children's workers, spend some time in prayer for the children that are going to be here, seeing lives transformed by the power of the gospel, and just really excited about what God is going to do in the coming week. Absolutely. It's going to be an exciting week, and we hope to see you there on Sunday. Thanks so much for just talking with us today. Thanks for hanging out with us.